Colorado firefighters are no stranger to battling wildfires from above. But more help will soon be on the way from a few hundred miles above ground. The satellites we're launching uh, are our satellites that collect images of the Earth will be able to see and track the intensity of a fire from space. It's amazing. It's amazing technology. Brian Collins lives in Parker, but is in Europe finalizing plans for the initial launch of Earth Fire Alliance's satellites next year. Their fleet of 52 satellites will eventually allow firefighters across the globe to track fires free of charge. So every part of the globe will be able to observe fires that start how the fires behave and their impact on the landscape every 15 minutes. These technologies are really enabling us to look at fire on the landscape in ways that we haven't been able to before. Max Cook studies fires at CU Boulder and says the satellites will also help them learn after fires are out. In combination with early detections, we're also going to be able to understand more about the characteristics of fire behavior and how those characteristics relate to things like structure loss in communities and difficulties in suppression tactics. Brian says they're still looking into how they'll quickly get the data they gather to cruise back on Earth. I'm a space person. I come from the space industry in Colorado, uh, but I laugh that the, the rocket science is not the hard part. We know that. Now we need to get the data in the hands of firefighters and start finding out how that's going to change their decision on the ground. Brian hopes to have their first satellite in space next March, with three more in 2026. Evan Krugel, 9 News. The nonprofit already has funding to get those satellites into space. Federal lawmakers have introduced a bill that would give local communities funding to receive and utilize the data from those satellites. The bipartisan bill is expected to be discussed next year.